Hello everyone, my name is Nikhilesh. I welcome you to my channel RP Tech Now. In today's session, we're going to learn about generate data table activity in UI path. As the name suggests, generate data table activity will generate a data table from an unstructured data. So what all we need to do is that we need to just provide unstructured data to this activity so that it will generate a data table. So here I got some unstructured data in the form of text and CSV. So what I will do is that I'll read this file into UA path string and then I'll use this generate data table activity to convert that into data table. I hope my videos are informative. If you think so, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And also do not forget to click the bell icon to get notified on my new videos. So what is the first activity that we need to do? We need to read that content. So I'll just look for read text file. So read text file is the activity that will read the text content, text file content into UA path string. So here I need to provide uh, the file name, the file path basically, right? So it got wrapped up in a sequence. Let me just quickly name it as generate DT sequence. So here I will provide the file path. So let me just create a variable called file path and I'll go to hold shift button, give a right click and copy as path and paste that over here and I'm providing the file path over here, file path. So if you provide the file path, that will be read, that particular text file will be read and will be generating the output in the form of string. So let me just create a string variable, file content. So once this activity gets executed, the file content will be stored in this file content variable, right? So we're good there. And what is the next thing? Generate data table. So this is unstructured data. So we need to generate data table out of that. So here I'm using generate data table. So if you see on the right hand side, we need to provide input. So which I got into file content. So I'm just providing file content which is a string as input to this generated table activity. And uh, here formatting options. So here you need to provide the formatting. That means the column separator, column separator. So if you open this, so column separator is space, right? So I'll just provide space as the column separator. So I'm just creating variable column separator. And here I'll, provide space. So I have just created a variable with the value as space, right? So I'm going to provide that over here. So column separator and just check this and make sure that CSV parsing is true. Okay, so we're good there. And so we have given the inputs required for this activity and it will generate me a data table with the given inputs, right? So unstructured data is given, column separator is given, so that it will give me a data table. So the data will be read into a data table. So what I'll do, so I'll just create data table output variable, data table output, just click okay, I got data table output. So let me just write that into in an Excel sheet so that it will be easy for us to read through. So uh, file workbook, yeah, file workbook. So here I'm just taking the path of this folder and just giving backslash. I'm going, it'll, uh, I'm, there is no file, there is no XLSX file. So I'm just going to create one file as generate 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 dt dot excel sx okay this file will be created and uh, that workbook file will be created and then so here i'm saying space okay and what 
table is required to be written in here in this particular worksheet of this workbook right so that is data table output so just specify data table output we're good there and uh, add headers so it will have headers right so so this is my file so the first row is first row should be considered as headers so we need to explicitly specify to consider the first row as headers so for that i'm just clicking on this generate data table so here use first row as column headers so this requires to be checked so then the first row will be considered as headers so we're good there so let me just close this file so we are reading sample one txt and then let us just see what will happen so first the file will be read into text format and then text will be converted into data table and then data table will be written into a new workbook called generate dt inside the space worksheet so here i got generate dt worksheet created just now and let me just open it and here i got space So what just happened is that uh, it it didn't separate uh, the columns. Why? Because uh, let me just close this and let me just delete the sheet again. So if you go in here inside generate data table and if you see here the column separator. So I just change. I just tick this and then the values got refreshed. So here I'll need again need to provide the column separator. So the column separator got removed so if i just run it over again so just make sure again column separator is there yeah we're good there uh, uh, file content is also placed so we just changed some formatting settings in here so that the value got refreshed so that was removed basically so if i just run it over again so there is no file so that file will be read and uh, that's been converted into a data table and written into this generate dt workbook so do you see so here i got the data table right so we good there and if i have to do the same for the other files right so here i got sample two wherein pipe is the separator what do you need to do you just need to change the file path so i'm just changing here file path as two and then here the separator as pipe and uh, here i will give a new sheet that is pipe okay a pipe sheet will be created inside that workbook right so yeah we are good there so let me just give a run so before that let me just show you that file so yeah it is pipe divided robot rahim and suman right so let me just quick let me just give a quick run f5 debug run so execution started and ended and if i go in here and open it so i got a new sheet called pipe created and robot rahim suman you see that way the unstructured data which was given inside sample 1 and sample 2 are read into the data table and that's been written in here right so let me just open the third one so comma so this time it is comma so it is as simple as that so you just need to specify the column separator as comma here comma and uh, the file is 3 i'm just changing it as 3 and uh, so this time i'll say comma so comma sheet will be created and uh, this time the file will be sp uh, split on the basis of comma and that will be converted into data table so let me just give a quick run again f5 so sheet seems to be open let me close it
Let's try again. Yeah, we good there. So if I open it, I got comma separated file converted into data table, and that's been written over here in the comma sheet. Good. So, so here I got CSV file. All right. So if I just edit it, so it has got again uh, the comma separated. Even the CSV files can be read using read text file activity. So let me just copy this. Copy the path and I'm just pasting it in here. So the CSV path has been set. And what is the separator there? There also it is comma. So let me just give it a run. And this time I'll comma CSV. Okay, comma CSV. Just give it a run. And make sure that the file is closed. Yes, file is closed. Execution started and execution ended. So if I just open this, I got comma CSV file, right? So that way you can uh, uh, convert the unstructured data into data table format and you can use it for the further execution flow, right? So if I just open this, so if you want to ignore the first column that can be done by just by checking this, okay? And if you want to quickly check the data if that can be converted uh, uh, using, you know, so by, by default you will have space and tab as the delimiters. Okay, so you can just check that. Okay, so if I have to just show you, so here I got a pipe divided, right? So let me just do control H. So I will change this as space. Just replace all, cancel. I'm just copying this. So if you want to do a quick check, right? So that can be done from here. Just paste that here and then uh, space and then preview. You see? And uh, I want to, I do not want to use the first row as column headers. Just uncheck it and do preview. You see, first row is considered as record and uh, column headers have got column one, column two, column three, column four. And if you want to include that as column headers, just check that and just do a preview. So you see, the first row is considered as column headers in here. And if you do not want first column to be included in the data table, so you just need to ignore first column. Just do preview, that's it, right? That way you can uh, test any particular data prior to converting to data table, right? So using this generate data table uh, window wizard. I hope uh, the session is informative. If you think so, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any queries, please do comment on the video. Thank you.